I wanted to acknowledge Dr. John Boyd Jr. He is the founder of the Black Farmers Association. Now, I am very interested in this organization. I'm very, very interested. All right. Now, this video is going to be about, you know, black excellence. I like this guy a lot. You know, I would love to meet him. I would love to get to know him because my thing is, is, is that I, I like people who's out here in the community trying to make things better for for others, especially black folks. So this is written by Ann Brown from Mogul Dumb Nation. By the way, give Mogul Dumb Nation some of your love and your support as well, because they are a publication that's actually putting out news that has a pro-black slant. Now, every news organization has their slants, but this is the first one that I can say appears to at least have a pulse with the community. And I can appreciate that, but let's discuss Dr. John Boyd Jr. He has spent decades fighting for the rights of black farmers and is the founder of the National Black Farmers Association or MBFA. A black farmer himself, he most often advocates and pushes for policies to, to benefit other black farmers. That's why I, I, I actually like this guy. I like him a lot because I think farming is something that more black people, especially black men, need to get into. It's something that it, it would it would it would definitely require a lot more job skills versus, you know, going to the to the going going to the four year school. You would learn a lot more job skills. And granted, a lot of farmers are 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 actually college educated. But in this case, you know, you have an, an opportunity to strive to get land, you know, property, you know, actually owning property. But at, but but at the same time, produce a product that you can sell to the wider community and also build trust through that. Right. Uh, it also teaches you things about responsibility. It teaches you uh, how to manage your land and also make your land work for you. You know, and he wants to teach other black people these skills. And that's something that other communities have that we don't have. You know, and. You know, when black farmers are being targeted with racist attacks, when black farmers aren't getting the funding, when black farmers are being systemically neglected, you know, these these individuals like John Boyd Jr., he you know he he steps in. And I want you to know it's Dr. John Boyd Jr. This guy's college educated. You know, people have this perception of farmers and, and people out there, uh, especially in the South, that they are uh uneducated. Well, you you not only have a, have a black farmer, a black business owner, a black man who's trying to make things better for other black people, but he's smart too. He's smart too, and he founded the MBFA or National Black Farmers Association back in ninety five. You know, so he's been around for a while. Um, dedicated farmer and activist. Uh, wow, this guy's got a pretty large farm you know he's a third generation farmer born uh back in the 60s and so you know when, when you're a black man that was born back in the 60s you know you've seen some things that other black folks and especially a lot of white americans have not seen so i can totally get the reason why he's fighting against white supremacy and why he's advocating on behalf of black people because he's a black man who was born in virginia and virginia was the capital of the confederacy so black man from the south essentially College educated. So there so there goes the perception of the black farmer who's uneducated and, and, and doesn't know anything. That's not the case. You know. And the thing about this dude is that this man owns more than a thousand acres. Like I, I think like fifteen hundred acres of land. He owns all kinds of pigs cows livestock crops he owns all this stuff right and he's been farming pretty much his whole adult life now granted he probably went to school as well but he's been doing it for a long time so what that what that shows you is that he doesn't need to advocate for anyone he's already got his and that's why i can respect someone like like this guy, you know, when I was reading this article here, because I, I actually I actually read Mogul Dumb Nation a lot. I was very interested. I became very curious in this man, you know, and I would love to meet him. You know, if he ever sees this video, I would love to meet you, you know, um, 
mainly because I think he's done so much good. And the fact that I didn't even know a whole lot about him. You know, thank you to Mogadam Nation for introducing me to this man, you know. And I feel ashamed of myself for not knowing more more about him before, you know. You know, but, um, you know, you can't know everything. You know, you can't be in the know with everything. But that's why I picked out this particular article to do this video on. Because I was, I was blown away. You know, I, I, I didn't realize the death you know, the 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 absolute impact this guy had. That to me was fascinating. And the fact that he already had his, he, he didn't have to keep helping people. Listen, if guys like this doesn't help anybody, man, they would, they would make so much more freaking money, have so much more freaking time. I know what it's like to be a black farmer and struggling. You know, people think that farmers are rich and that's not the case. Yeah, on paper... You know, people, you know, farmers are millionaires on paper. Sure. That don't mean that you got that kind of cash on hand. And I'm sure this. I'm sure this man, John Boyd, knows that all too well. So the fact that he would still come down and actually try to help out other brothers, you know, and help out other other black people. No, not just brothers, but brothers and sisters, you know, try to help out other black people to help them get what he has. I got to salute that, man. I would love to meet this man. And um, that that is black excellence to me. Black excellence isn't just when you help out when it's when you're out here struggling and you're and you're out here in the dirt and the mud. You know, I think it was Marvin Hagler who says um, I, I think I, I'm not sure if it was Mar Marvin Hagler, but I know it was, it was a fam fam famous boxer who said that, you know, it's hard to get up when you're sleeping in silk sheets. You know, <laughs> You know, and so it, it's, it's very difficult for people like John Boyd, you know, to go out and help others when he's already got his. And for that, the fact that he would still help. That's why I respect him. That's why I would love to meet him and see if I could help.